with this machine, you can't just put it out of the box and virtually fly it. You've got to um, upgrade really. The machine won't activate until it's got the new software. When I downloaded the new Go DJI app, um, it went straight into it. It downloaded the new software. It realised that I had the standard, so it down there. And as you can hear now, it's making that noise. Um, yeah, and it's quite good, really. I mean, at the front, I don't know if you can see it on the DJI standard, you can see a little red flashing light. Well, that's that's doing the upgrade. Um, it's on 59%. It did say this could take about 20 to 25 minutes to do that. So, fingers crossed that everything's going to be all right. <laughs> I'll, I'll, anyway, this it's not that bad, really. So, everything's going all right at the moment. Um, it, it's making a noise, which it said it would do. My app... My Nexus 7 is doing its, um, oh yeah, lots have gone off now. Um, yeah, my um, Nexus 7 is downloading it onto the Wi-Fi. Oh, yep, camera just moved then. So it's obviously doing something. So I'm going to come back to you. Right, I'm doing the IMU calibration. So I've just gone into what I've done, obviously I've turned on my receiver, I've now turned on the Phantom Standard, um, everything's alright, I've, I've gone into my Nexus 7, I've set the settings on my Wi-Fi to the Phantom, so that's tuned in now. Just gone into the Go app, um, it always comes up with um, any new updates, so I've done that anyway. I want to enter the camera view, so I'll just do that. So I've gone into the empty camera. Right, so to do the IMU, I'll just go over to this corner and see the little drone icon, just press that. And I go, d now you're into your MC settings. I'll then go down to sensors, IMU calibration, press that. Right, please keep stationary and horizontal um, drawing the calibration. Right, let's take 10 to 15 minutes. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make sure everything's on a nice flat table. I'll say, okay, again, please keep the aircraft stationary and horizontal or it should not fly well and redo advanced calibration. Basic calibration will start automatically after advanced calibration is finished. So I press OK again. All right, and now it says in red letters, I am new calibration in progress, please wait. Um, from what I've seen on other vids, it takes about 10 minutes approximately. That's it, I thought it might have said finished. This has got on there in red, I am you calibration okay. So I presume you just uh, click out of that. Back into the screen. Horizontal line looks straight, which is good. So the camera should be okay. So the only thing to remember is every time you get a new firmware update is to do another calibration. I've turned on my receiver first. I've just turned on the standard. I've gone into my settings for the Wi-Fi. It's straight gone straight into my DJI Go app. Um, and it's gone straight into aircraft status. And it's already asking to compass calibrate. So press the calibrate. Right, just asking me to make sure there's no magnets or metal objects near the compass. So I say OK. So this is what we do. So we've got the yellow light. I'll do a 360. Until it goes green. 
put it down. Alright, and we got the flashing lights. Green flashing lights, and we're ready to fly. I've done a couple of operations on the receiver because it's a standard. I don't know if you can see, but this bar here, the one you get with the with the box is plastic, which is quite bouncy, you'll notice, because I, I can't use my phone on this, I have to use my Nexus. So this is I've changed I've taken it off my old Vision Plus one and put it on here, so we've got a nice metal one, it's more sturdy. I've also, for my Nexus 7, I've got one of these stick-on clips you can get from eBay for 2 99 so it goes on there. So all I've got to do is put it onto there. Right, it says safe to fly. GPS, got the map, got my home set in. So we'll just give it a whirl, see what happens. Looking good. So now I'm going to go out. Um, I think I might go down to Norton Church myself. I'm going to recalibrate it again because I did notice it was moving a bit, but it is it is a bit windy here, so maybe it was just the um, travel sim with the wind. But yeah, well pleased.